Do you really need to spend thousands of dollars to have a great overhead rig? Well, not anymore. Hello my friends, my name is Enrique and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at the newer camera tripod for DSLR cameras, video camcorders up to 33 pounds. Yeah, that is the product name, I really wish that newer will come with shorter or cooler names for the products, but anyway. And how you can set it up as an overhead rig. It's a really amazing tripod, especially for the price, coming at $114.99, that is around 98 euros, and the construction is made of an aluminum magnesium alloy that feels really sturdy and strong. Great build quality, every screw and connection is made with a rubber grip that it make it really easy to handle around and we also find non-slip rubber on the feet of it. It features a 360 degree turning head and the best thing is that you can also rotate the center column of it. That means that the newer tripod allows you to move the vertical column all the way up to the horizontal position, what is really useful for photography but also for video creation. If you have seen my unboxing of the Raspberry Pi 4, thanks to this tripod is that I made all the overhead shots of the table. So, if you haven't seen it already, go and check it out. The head counts with a smooth fluid ball head that rotates 360 degrees with a quick release plate for shooting in panoramic and also can give you pretty smooth video for B-roll for example. To set it up it's an overhead rig is really easy. You only have to unlock this knob, pull the certain column all the way up after unlocking the really tight knob from the position setting and setting it up to 90 degree angle thanks to the indicators that are inscribed in here. After you lock it down, take the quick release plate of the tripod out and put it in your camera and now attach it to your tripod and voila! You have made yourself a reasonable price overhead rig. Just don't forget to use a weight on the back of it or in the legs of the tripod so don't fall over. You can simply use a sandbag or anything with enough weight from keeping it from tipping over. About this knob for the position, that is the only thing that I don't really like so much about this tripod, is that I don't know why, if this was only my model or all the models come like this, but sometimes it's really difficult to unlock it having to use even a hammer to hit it open. Or maybe I'm not so strong, I don't know. It includes a great quality carrying bag and a hook that you can use to attach your backpack or a sandbag. Notice that a sandbag is not included. It's also really good for traveling because it only weighs 4.76 pounds or 2.16 kilos and the size of this newer tripod when folded is of 26.4 inches or 67 centimeters and when it's completely extended reaches the height of 74.4 inches that is around 148 centimeters. The center column can also be used backwards giving you the ability to make down angle shoots and as the name of the tripod says it has a loading capacity of 33 pounds or 15 kilos, what I think is more than enough for most of us. It also includes a bubble level thing that is especially useful because the angle of the legs of the tripod can each be adjusted individually. That can really be important if you are using it on uneven surfaces. Underneath the level we find a 3 8 inch screw hole where you can attach some more accessories to it, like for example some lighting or external monitor. One more feature that this tripod has is the ability to remove all the legs and then attach one of them to the head transforming your tripod into a monopod with a maximal height of 52.5 inches or around 144 centimeters. That's great! I really think that Newer hit the nail on the coffin with this tripod. So if you are a content creator, a photographer or simply looking for an affordable, great quality tripod that can make the functions of three different things, tripod monopod and overhead rig like this one does look no further because i can do anything more than recommended it's a three in one what more do you need thanks for watching guys and thank my friend mixlody that asked me on the previous video how i shoot my overhead shots giving me the idea of creating this video if you find the video useful don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications to know every time i upload a new video hit the like button if you like it Dislike if you didn't like it, and like always, see you on the next time. Bye bye.